Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome to another Cooking with Trish. Um, so today I'm so excited. I love like chicken and pasta more than anything. Like chicken parm is like superior, but like this is like Cajun chicken pasta, which like I've only had it a couple places that were like really, really good. It's really hard to make, but I have been wanting to make this recipe for so long. Um, I follow this girl. I'll like link her recipe below. That's the recipe I'm following. So please, 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 please remind me if I don't link it because you should definitely go follow hers and not mine. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. So we're going to make Cajun chicken pasta today. It seems easy minus the sauce. You all know my sauce skills are just not entirely there. And I don't think there's measurements in this recipe. Maybe there is. Maybe I'll have to check. But um, yeah, let's just start with the chicken. We're going to start with the chicken. I have my water boiling. I'm going to be using penne pasta. So you just boil that like normal. And yeah, let's start by seasoning the chicken. Okay, so I've got my seasonings right here. Um, again, she didn't really do, I looked, there was like not a lot of measurements. So I'm just gonna do like, she mixes it all together, so I'm just gonna like mix it all together too. Um, parsley flakes, this is new, we had to get this new. We had had this paprika we've used a million times. We use this on so many things. Quesadilla, our chicken sandwich. Just gives it a little kick, so I'm doing a little extra on the paprika. And then of course, garlic and onion powder. Those are just like staples. So, you know, we can go kind of in on the garlic powder. And onion powder is always like a little less, but again, I use this like pretty much every time we cook, we do onion and garlic powder. And you know what? I think I'm gonna actually put a little more paprika in. But, oh, I guess Cajun too. I guess we could do a little Cajun. Okay, cause that's gonna add some spice. All right, and then this is new too, and I'm really excited about this. This is the Cajun seasoning. I love Cajun, I love like jambalaya. I love the seasoning, and I just like, again, it's kind of hard to find, so because it's a Cajun chicken, I'm gonna go heavy on that. And you're gonna mix it all together. Um, but before we do that, let's go and get this chicken. Okay, so these are our chicken. She pounded hers down pretty good. Um, we cut ours a little smaller, just so it's a little easier to cook. I mean, they're still pretty big chunks, but basically you're gonna end up slicing this, so it's not really like a huge deal. But to marinate, I take some olive oil. I just want some new olive oil. And so we're going to just put a little oil over the chicken. And then we're going to mix up our spices. And I think that's like a good, maybe I should add some more spices. I think so. She had quite a bit. And we want a flavorful chicken. So I'm just putting more of everything in. Garlic. And we do love paprika. So again, I used to never work with seasoning. So once you like know the seasonings you like, you're just, okay, you're good to go. And then we got some of this. I think we have enough of the green for sure. We just really want a good seasoned chicken. And maybe a little more onion. So again, I looked to see if the measurements were there. I did not see them, but. All right, so we're gonna mix this all together again. Oh, it smells a little better. It smells a little more mixed. And she had Old Bay leaves in hers. I can never find them anywhere. I think maybe I'm just not going to the right stores. Um, but yeah, I can't even find that anyways. All right, so now that they're all mixed, we're gonna just put them over the chicken. <laughs> I've never seasoned chicken this way, so this is like new for me, and I probably should not have worn long sleeves, but you know. So I think she kind of like rubbed it in. She had like, what do you call it, gloves and stuff, and I don't, but. All right, we're just gonna massage the chicken, I guess. I don't know. Make it count, you know? All right, I'm gonna flip it over. Flip it over. Flip this over and, oh, a lot of that seasoning came off. I guess I could have rubbed that in more. Okay, that's okay though, because I guess if it rubs off, it'll just get on. Oh my God, these sleeves though. Definitely should have done short. I thought I was being cute, but okay. And then we'll just do some more seasoning on them. Yeah, that's definitely. I'm just coating it the way it looks like hers was coated. And just rubbing it in. It smells good though, it smells really good. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. Yeah, this smells good. I'm here for it. I'm gonna get all of it seasoned and wet. All right, that should be the name of a cooking show, Seasoned and Wet. Okay. If my sleeves are driving you nuts, don't worry, they're driving me nuts too. Okay. These look pretty well coated. They look pretty well seasoned. And yeah, according to her, it only takes like, you know, five to 10 minutes to cook these. We have one big mamma jamma here, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Yum. I'm just gonna go ahead and coat it all over. And it looks pretty good. I think that's pretty well coated and oiled up. So now we're gonna take these and we are going to put them in a small bit of oil. She only put maybe like a few teaspoons of oil in it. Usually we put like half of it filled with oil. But again, because this is a different kind of chicken, I think we're gonna put like less oil and see if it cooks up different. So now we put the chicken in with a little bit of oil and it takes about five to 10 minutes, she says. So we're gonna do that and I'm gonna start prepping the tomatoes, the onions, the butter, and the red pepper. So now we plate the chicken and kind of set it aside because now we are going to get in to the sauce of it all. She does have measurements, so basically everything's like a teaspoon except for the heavy whipping cream is two cups. So this is all of our stuff prepped and we're gonna just go straight into where we cook that chicken to make the sauce. Okay, so this is still on. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start the base of it. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna put some butter in here. And my pasta is actually still boiling, so this actually went really quick. All right, so we are going to do the butter and then we're gonna put in our onion. And then we are gonna put in some chopped red peppers. We're gonna stir that around for just a minute before we add our tomatoes. But yeah, she had it all in the same pan, which kind of makes sense. And I'm gonna cook these more than I normally do because I guess when they become like translucent, you know they're like done or whatever. But it does smell good because it still has the flavor of the chicken. So it does make sense. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of tomato in there. Some diced tomatoes. We like our tomatoes in this house together. It literally smells so freaking good. I just keep stirring until I guess like the onions get translucent. Because I always think is I never cook them long enough, so I'm just gonna keep stirring for a little while. Okay. So let's stir it around, just getting all the juices in there. So now we are going to add the heavy whipping cream. Now I have two cups, but y'all know me, I usually go way too saucy, so I'm gonna just kinda go with a little bit and see where it's at. But it's kind of like Alfredo. I feel like my Alfredo sauce is pretty good. Okay. So we're gonna mix that in, see where that goes. Cause hers is like, I guess it's like that same color. But ours started out a little darker too, so I gotta take that into consideration. But it smells really good. <laughs> so we're gonna just go based on that. Okay, and then she added a little bit of chicken broth and a little bit of bouillon. So I'm just gonna put a splash of chicken broth in there, which I actually never cook with chicken broth. I think that's good, okay. And then, this is chicken bouillon. I've actually never used this either, so I'm just, ah, I just splashed everywhere, okay. 
So we're gonna put that in there, and then she put cream cheese. She had like garlic cream cheese, but I just have regular cream cheese. So that's what I'm putting in to make it creamy. And she did like a tablespoon, so. Let me not splash all over myself. Okay, there we go. And yep. Okay. We're gonna mix the cream cheese in there because we want it to be like creamy consistency. <laughs> we all know consistency is not my strong suit, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. She doesn't really say like what kind of consistency to look out for, but you know, sauce is sauce, so. And this isn't even all the heavy whipping cream, so I'm glad I didn't put it in, because it's just very saucy. It's very soupy, maybe? I don't know. So the cream cheese is in there now. that all in and then I think we're almost done she just put a little more Cajun seasoning in which makes sense I'm not gonna put a ton in but I'm gonna put a little more in and the Parmesan is at the end so we're just gonna put some Cajun seasoning and some salt and pepper because we always have to do salt and pepper Do some of this. It smells amazing, so I have high hopes. High hopes for this sauce. Okay. Mix it all together. Mmm, it smells really, really good. Okay, because then we gotta put our pasta in there, so. Mix that up nice and good. I think it's looking pretty good actually. I don't think it's too soupy. But hey, you know, if it tastes good, that's all that matters. So right, so now that our sauce and our pasta are both done, we are going to kind of mix it in like you do with like a fettuccine or a mac and cheese. And yeah, kind of just have it in its flop era. So I love penne noodles. These are some of my favorite noodles. I literally ate this girl all the time. The noodles, not the sauce. But we're gonna just fold in the sauce. Ooh, that looks so good, actually. Yeah, they said two cups of um, heavy whipping cream, but I don't know if I just don't let it boil long enough or cook it long enough, but I definitely would say, I don't know, it's up to you, but I only use maybe like a cup and a half of it. Mmm, it's gonna be so good with the chicken. Oh gosh. I just like growing up never had like flavors, so this to me is all like new. I'm like, oh it looks so good. It's almost like a Chipotle sauce. I'm glad we went with the deeper dish. I was gonna use a smaller dish for the sauce, but yeah, it's better to have the deeper. Wow. It is super creamy too. Yummy. I think we need a couple more scoops of the pasta and then we should be good. Just a little water. I'm just gonna put the rest of it in there because it just looks not delicious and we have enough sauce, so why not? Oops, it went over a little bit, that's okay. Oh, yes. This might be one of my better sauces to date, so we'll see. <laughs> I haven't tasted it yet, but it smells good and it looks super yummy. I'm just gonna make sure all the pieces get sauce on it. And this was really simple. It's way easier than like a pasta vodka sauce because you don't have to wait for like, you don't have to turn the heat up and then down and let it simmer and let it sit. It's kind of, and no vodka, which is great because you know, bring it. All right, let's plate this up. Okay, actually, before we plate it up, we're going to put a little bit of cheese in there. So, she put a very tiny bit, and I actually don't want to overpower this too much with cheese, so I'm going to put a little bit. I'll keep this on the side in case me and my husband want to put more in, but we're going to just put a little bit in. There, oh, no, I didn't take this off already. Okay. Just kind of give it a little bit more, because we do love Parmesan cheese, and she did put hers in. 
her recipe. She added chicken into her sauce too, but I think I'm going to plate it with just... I like the way it looked in her thumbnail where it had the chicken on top because I don't like too much sauce on my chicken. I like just to like have a hint of it, so... Alright, now we can... Guys, this is the finished product. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna get Moses now to try this so we can sit down and eat and have a little bite. But look how beautiful! Oh, it looks so cute. Okay, how is it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a chicken with the pasta pipe. How's the sauce? Because you know me and the sauces, I'm just like camp. It's really good. It's so. Hmm. Like so many flavors. Yeah, it's good. But with all the flavor, like the pepper, the red pepper has such a strong... I love red mm -hmm. pepper. Oh my god, it's actually so good. Wow, I'm so impressed. Okay, I got. I don't know if I'm tasting the chicken because I did it both at the same bite. I don't know if it's the chicken that I'm getting because there's a lot of flavor in something. I don't know if it's the chicken or the penne. Let me see. I'm going to try the penne by itself first. Mm. I think the penne has even more flavor. Really? The sauce is really good. I'm really like impressed. Let me try the chicken by itself because. Mmm. The chicken is really good though too. Mm -hmm. And it's not so fried like our other chicken or like a chicken parm. No, because it's nice like. Like the spices that are kind of burned on it. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah, no, that does. It's like a blackened chicken pasta. Mm -hmm. I love it. And it actually stayed pretty warm because we kept the chicken off for like. Five, ten minutes. She mixes her chicken in, so I guess it would be more warm, but... I love it. And the sauce is good. Like, I really thought the sauce was going to be too soupy. No, it's like... It's really sophisticated. Right. Like, it looks like, like a fancy restaurant. No, but the flavors. Because you get, like, these little flavors, and suddenly you feel a little bit of the cheese, a little bit of the... natural spices. Yeah. The, Oh my god, we have a sophisticated sauce. We've come a long way from butter noodles. I love it. It's hard to find this kind of sauce at restaurants too. Like they just it's hard to like find. I never see it. It's rare. I've seen it a couple times at like Cajun chicken pasta, but it's like really rare. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It's I would make it again. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm hmm it's almost better than a fettuccine because it has like more, it has more. It's not just butter and cream, you know, it's like, the seasonings are really good. I feel like fettuccine gets, like it's so rich mm -hmm. and you get over it after two bites, you know. It's, yeah. It's always the same. This one is like, every bite is like different flavor, different excitement. I love the red pepper in it too. You're right, that's really... So good. And it was so fast. Like, this was really fast to make. Yeah. The chicken marinade was so easy. Mm -hmm. Making the chicken was like five to ten minutes. I mean, the pasta sauce itself was literally five minutes. <laughs> like, it couldn't have been more simple. Yum. I like when you use the same pan to do everything. Yeah. <laughs> Less dishes. <laughs> no, it's like the flavors. <laughs> like, they get like deeper. Yeah. Deeper. I know. We should do that more often. I'm shocked at how good this chicken is. Do you like the chicken too or no? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of shocked how good it is. <laughs> and it looks so simple, but you know, sometimes you see recipes you're like this is going to be easy, like those nachos, and they were like so hard. No, it's really like my style of food because it's like savory. Right. It's not sweet and it's not like. Like sometimes cheese has a certain sharpness to it. Mm -hmm. You put like four cheeses or things. It's too much. Mm -hmm. And it's seasoned. The chicken season, the pasta season. Because I'm not a seasoning person. I don't usually season. Because I want to know what to put. Like, I want to know what to put. Like, I have to find someone that tells me, like, put this, this, and this. I like the Cajun seasoning on this a lot. Well, especially this one. Like, I would have no, like, I would not know how to reverse engineer this. Oh, no, same. Like, like what? Those things you eat and you're like, okay, I can put some tomatoes, mm -hmm. garlic, carnion. But this one, I have no idea what's even in it. Yeah, it has. How do you get this flavor? Well, it wasn't even like that crazy. Like she used, I had most of the stuff here. The only thing I didn't have was the Cajun seasoning. What is the Cajun seasoning? It's just called Cajun seasoning. Oh, there is one. Yeah. 
But she did use paprika, which you love, because we use that in our chicken, like when we make our quesadillas and our fried chicken. Um, and just like garlic, onion. I mean, it was like really, I was surprised how simple it was. Is there anything you would change or different? Like less sauce, creamier sauce, more seasoning? Because I know you like more spices and stuff. I mean, the sauce is perfect. The sauce what is else? perfect. What's the different? chicken? The chicken, I think maybe I would like next time be able to keep more of the spices on it. Because like mm. for some reason it didn't. That could be me too. Because oh. I my sleeve kept falling down. Maybe. I think I needed to put more oil on them and then like rub it. I just needed to rub it in more. Because she kept saying that. I was like, make sure you rub it in. But I had a little sleeve technical difficulty, so I kind of. I know what you're saying, yeah. I said these are the These pieces are the best. The ends. Mmm. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, because we actually added. Like the seasoning really mm -hmm. stuck to it. Yeah. I think that's me. I think I need to put more. Or we can marinate it too. You know, put it in the fridge for like a half hour, like we do the quesadillas. But it was so easy just doing like, it. Like, might be also like when I flipped it. Too soon, because mm -hmm. I notice once it burns a bit, then it sticks. Oh, but you like the burn part, so. I mean, the chicken's really good. I'm shocked. I mean, we make a lot of chicken, and I feel like this is my favorite chicken we make. Because again, it's just not so heavy. It's not so um, so fried. Which I love our hard chicken, but I guess less oil is the secret for that. It's so good. Wow, I can't believe I made something that's like kind of good. <laughs> I feel like I've been failing those egg rolls. Well, After that, I... Wasn't <laughs> you. It, was the, it was the actual dough. We'll have to try it again. Did you? I was, I was just popping egg rolls like two days later. He was like, here's some veggie spring rolls from the restaurant. I think you. But they were good, the ones we made. Like, I ate them with the bed. Yeah, if we had the right mm -hmm. paper. Mmm. Like I'm the sorry. mix we made for the egg roll, you can just eat it. It's almost like a salad. It was really good. Yeah, and it smells really good too. I think this might be my favorite pasta I made. Obviously, besides like our big ziti, which I love, and it's so easy. But like, as far as like new, it's just so different. Cause it's yeah, not, it's not tomato based or just cheese based. Right. It's like completely different. I know. It's like, and it's not too creamy. Like I know it's creamy, but it's not like. Heavy. I tried to change it for Mmm. It's so good. Me too. It's been a long day. We had a long, long day. I was doing the most. But I felt good after a week of me not doing anything. We have a long week ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. This will give me the energy. <laughs> Like when you come home, I have a little pot, pot of pasta ready for you, a little plate of chicken. Although I like cooking together. When we cook together, it's our bonding time. Although I have kind of cramps today cooking. It's fun to cook. Mm hmm. I love it. Because by myself, for myself, I would never do this. Me neither. Oh, I never, never. No, we have someone to cook for. I remember, like, Hanging out in the kitchen, mm. making things. <laughs> I know, it's really fun. I look forward to it. It's like our unwind of the day. Mm. And it looks so pretty too. Usually the presentation is like not that great. <laughs> but the next thing I really want to make is Japanese pancakes, the fluffy pancakes. Mm. But I just feel like that I feel like I'm going to really just Why? torture. No. I'm getting fluffy consistency and flipping. <laughs> Once you have the consistency, then it's there. I don't know. I want to try it. I mean, it's pancakes, so. You would think you couldn't mess it up, but I messed up pasta before. You just drown the pancake with maple <laughs> syrup. No, that's not the point of it. You're supposed to taste the fluffiness of the pancake. You know what? I like this blackened chicken, the blackened part too. That's what I'm saying. It's so good. Yeah. This is so good. Chili's used to have a blackened chicken pasta like forever ago. That was so good. 
But we went like what a year ago to show. Oh my god, it was so awful. Oh, it was so awful. Maybe it was always awful, and I didn't know. But they used to have the best like black and chicken pasta. And it was kind of like this. But this is better. No, because it's also fresh ingredients and it's mm -hmm. kind of healthy. Protein. That's good. Just I'm gonna finish all my. I am full. We put a lot in this. Was this was the presentation plate. Next time I might put even more pepper. Red pepper? Mm -hmm. I'd be down for that. Just so tasty. I love red pepper too. Like in the case of Diaz and. It's kind of like a Chipotle pasta. I mean, it's better than any of the pastas at Cheesecake Factory, I'm not gonna lie. We kind of crush it. Mm. Open our own chain. Yeah. What would it be called? Rose and Trish? The Pasta Factory. No, it's too close to Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory had glass in your potatoes. But they make... They have cheesecake in the title. Ours will be... This pasta factory. I think they have a spaghetti factory. Italian. Italian. <laughs> I'm sure that's fun too. I can call Moe's. <laughs> Moe's knows to cook. Oh my god. It was so good. Wow. A new pasta dish. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Super easy. Mm. I mean, it's not that easy. You make it look easy. Aw, oh, thanks, babe. Well, I mean, if I can do it, it's easy. And then we have to make this for TikTok next time. Because I haven't been doing my TikTok cooking. But I mean, you know what? I should show this one. This is a good pasta for TikTok, I think. Mm. This is my kind of mukbang, man. Yeah. Fresh food, hot food. Hot wife. Hot hubby. Sexy hubby. Who does all Good my trip. dicing? Thank you. It's kind of warm, though. After this, I'm going to take it off. And I have a really comfortable, like, nursing bra on. It's so comfortable. I'm just going to lay in that tonight. Because it's kind of hot. It's kind of getting hot. Not a little it's bit of crampies. Up. It's warming up. You made me look at this. You turned a hoe into a housewife, babe. I'm a cook. I clean. I clean some of the counters. Our housekeeper's been off for a week, and I've been keeping up with the dishes. I've been wiping down the counters. <laughs> you always do the dishes. That's the one thing I can do. I don't do anything else. You do all the trash. <laughs> trash is awful. Well, you did once. And you almost got attacked by a bobcat or something. Sorry, I was coughing. Um, oh yeah, when we first moved in here, I tried to take the trash out. Because I used to take the trash out. At my house in Dona Rosa, I was always taking the trash out. And so I tried to take it out here, and there was literally like, on my car, like a per, and I think it was probably, it was probably a bobcat. bobcat under the car, and it was like, <laughs> and we had no growling lights. at her. Oh my god, it was so scary. I literally dropped the trash, and I was like, I came back inside. I was like, nope, nope. It was pitch black. I was like, never again. But you also compost. Not only do you take out the trash, you take down the trash cans, you compost. That's fun. I like composting for the garden. Mm -hmm. Moses really is the one to keep this household together, but I try my best here and there. Do some dishes. <laughs> I don't mind those, actually, don't mind dishes. You cook a lot. I try. <laughs> pasta. You should make pasta or pasta? It's just so hard. I just don't really crave food much anymore. I do love rice and chicken. That's like my new thing. I love, we get like rice and chicken bowls. Um, rice and spicy sauce at boiling crab, or rice and banana. But what else? I don't know. We really don't eat much else. <laughs> it's probably the longest we haven't been to. Benihana. I know, because we have that way. We have two doctor's appointments coming up, so <laughs> that means two celebratory Benihana lunches. I guess usually our doctor's appointment thing. I'm so full back here. Stop eating this. It's so good. And the consistency of the sauce is good, right? That's a perfect creaminess. I'm shocked. 
you're right that mom's like just don't put all the all of it in because i usually do i follow the instructions but because you can always add more yeah but you can't take it out so you just kind of like those nachos put, look at it put, look at it yeah no you're right and i'm sure you're supposed to like cook it more i'm supposed to probably cook the tom sauce more or the tomatoes or something i'm probably just supposed to cook it more but yeah that's perfect I'm glad you liked it. So cool. <laughs> I always don't really like it when you eat it. Not like the mac and cheese gels I made for you the first time I cooked. I oh, wasn't used to eating on camera too, so. You literally had two bites of it and I was like, oh, he does not like this. Right, it was early on. And why was it the Velveeta? <laughs> oh my God, which is so nasty when I think about it now. <laughs> I used to love that cheese. Now I can't <laughs> even think about eating that cheese on it. I don't know, you have changed my taste buds. <laughs> It's like a block. I know. I didn't know that thing even existed. <laughs> and it's like a block and like a foil. It's just not it. But well, I got to rest my belly. My little baby's in there. <laughs> I feel it. I feel her more. I'm like, oh, okay. Today I was feeling it when I was standing up, but it's a long day. My first day back after being sick, so my energy is. Yeah, I'm lost. Take it easy. All right. Well, thanks guys for watching. I'll link below. Remind me. Just link below this recipe because it was so good. I give it a 10 out of 10. How about you? Absolutely. 10 out of 10? Yeah. Wow. Yay. And that's for the first time. I know. Usually we improve a lot. Always. Our ZD, our quesadilla, everything is like chef's kiss now. But this was our first time. The more we do it, mm -hmm. we get more, like you said, knowing what we want, the right amount, cater to our taste. But really good. All right. That's another cooking with Trish and Mo's. Check out our pasta factory restaurant opening soon. <laughs> And I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Try it. It's good. Try it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Bye, guys.